Well, we've got a special, very special guest and uh, is going to be, I'm going to get with this first because uh, I'm really proud of him. I just, and it's a huge, this huge honor uh, to be inducted into the Polk County Sports Hall of Fame. I mean, when you have guys like um, uh, Ray Lewis, uh, Al Kaline, I mean, you know, major, major superstars in the world of sports uh, in this Hall of Fame, um, you know, it, it's an honor to be inducted. Uh, Jeff Sykes and for his 40th season um, will be coaching the Warner, I can't remember what the, the name is. Royals. Royals, I knew that, <laughs> I knew that. Anyway, <clears throat> in baseball and uh, has done a great job. In fact, I think last year, he, he'll, he'll tell you, uh, had one of the best years in history. So uh, real proud of him, real proud of what he's done at Warner. Um, we need more Christian colleges, uh, universities in this country. and. Uh, Anyway, we can go on about a lot of good things, but Jack, I know this is a, a, a topic that has special interest to you. Yeah, yeah, I, I love the NAIA schools and, and uh, welcome aboard. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. So uh, let's start off at college, third baseman, and, and, and go from there. So, Well, I played uh, my college ball uh, at the University of Kentucky uh, for Keith Madison up there. Uh, he's a uh, Hall of Fame legendary coach in Kentucky and uh, started off in the outfield ended up playing third base and um, when I got done playing there I didn't really have any job opportunities or anything along those lines so I came back down to Florida where I knew I could find work and work for my dad a little bit and and eventually one thing after another led to Warner. And, and you were kind of reluctant to start your coaching from what I'd read, that you, you were a little, it was, a, it was just a club team at the time. It wasn't even a, an, an actual, you know, league league team. So, so you were a little reluctant, came in and, and started coaching. Barely older than the players. Well, my first team, we had 15 players on the team and three of them were older than me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> And I had, and you're correct, I had no desire at all to coach. It never appealed to me, never wanted to do anything in the lines of coaching. And um, a fellow named Danny Clower, who was the coach at that time at Warner, and then he also worked with a post office. He was moving to Columbus, Ohio uh, for a post office job. He called me and said, hey, these nice guys, mm -hmm. and you'd enjoy it, and you can do it. Would you be willing to do this? And I said, no, I don't, want to do it. I don't want to do it. And he kept on and on and on, very uh, persuasive. And ultimately he asked me, well, will you at least pray about it? And I said, and this is a landline, we didn't mm -hmm. have cell phones in. He said, will you at least pray about it? I said, yes, yes, I'll pray about it just so I could hang the phone yeah. up. <laughs> and so ultimately I did pray about it. And I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're great guys. So. I'll give it a shot down there and absolutely loved it. Some of my best friends in the world were off of that team. Two guys that were in my wedding that were terrific friends and remain so uh, to today. And it just kind of grew from there. And, and literally you grew the program. So Florida Christian College Conference to begin with, National Christi Christian College Athletic Association, and then after going to the NCCAA World Series in 92, you make the leap to NAIA. We did. We had our athletic director at the time was a fellow named Gary Bays, uh, and oh. Gary really spearheaded that uh, at Warner to elevate the level of our athletic teams and the level of competition that we were facing and bringing in. And uh, he was a you know, very foresighted type of guy and an aggressive guy and, and got us moving uh, towards NAI. And we've been connected with NAI for since early to mid 90s. No. And I mean, one of the special things with NAIA is, is, you know, you're not just raising good athletes. This is, for many of these young men, this will be the, the end of their, of their sports career. Some will go on, most will not. You're also raising good quality people. Tell us about your leadership in that. Well, and honestly, it's the thing that keeps me coaching, really. I love competition, and, and we, you know, we've had our share of success and great experiences there, but it really is about the relationships you build with these young men. Um, and we are very, as an as a evangelical Christian university, I mean, the thing we share with all of our guys that come into play for us is that our main priority is to try to do everything we can to glorify Jesus Christ. So 
those young men, when they come, they kind of realize where we're coming from and what our standards are, uh, what our goals and objectives are. And they don't have to be a Christian to come to our school, but they have to feel comfortable being in that type of atmosphere because we will constantly encourage them in their faith mm -hmm. and encourage them towards faith in Christ. Uh, and we will certainly provide opportunities for them to, you know, to live out a service oriented life. And, mm -hmm. and we're involved in a variety of different things that uh, uh, enable them to do that. And we'll, we've done clinics for the local little league and on our campus. We do reading tutoring in a Babson Park Elementary School down there, involve all of our guys mm -hmm. in that with first graders and, and many other things that we've been involved in over the years. And it really does make, the, I mean, the NAIA experience makes a change in the student's life. It really does. So, so you know, you could probably talk more about the, 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 what you, many of these young men have gone on to do. Well, absolutely. And, and you're right about the NAI. We're allowed to be more hands-on mm -hmm. in NAI than, we are in, than they are in NCAA. There's a, more regulation, uh, more restrictions on time. You can be with the athletes. There's not so much of that in NAI, so we can invest a lot more. We can connect with them, I believe, on a, on a deeper level. That's certainly, um, you know, been a blessing in, in my life. And you mentioned some of the players and some of the things they've accomplished. I mean, you know, we've uh, had tons of guys go on and coach. We've had business leaders. We've had doctors. Uh, you know, you'll hear, uh, I'll get a call every now and then from a, a fellow that's talking about his law practice or talking about you know his his medical practice and and guys that are in politics and in, in all walks mm -hmm. of life that um, have made some really neat contributions in their area of service so we'll talk some numbers so you hit some some real milestones uh, these last few years I, I mean honestly you know winning as coach at Warner obviously but tell us about your milestones and your wins coming into this year well, if you if you coach long enough, I mean, <laughs> you know, you just don't, you know, trip and fall over yourself. You know, some numbers are going to add up. Um, so, you know, I think it's a more you're being humble. Well, yeah. it, the I'm thank I'm grateful to be at a place that has enabled me to do what I love to do for so many years. And we have been blessed to have some great players come in there. Again, you network and you know hundreds of people all over our state and different parts of the country that um, send us recruits mm -hmm. or certainly you know put us on to recruits that we can bring. And we've been blessed to have some guys, you know, over the years coming in have made us very competitive. One of the things I enjoy is that you know people will say, "I need to come see you play sometime," and say, "Yeah, come see us play." And when they finally do, many times this has happened, when the game's over and they, or the next time they speak with me, they say, I had no idea it was going to be this good, that the baseball was going to be this good. It is a very mm -hmm. quality level of baseball. And so, like I say, I've been blessed to do it for a long time. And the, I mean, honestly, to hold your, own, to hold your own in NAIA baseball in this area is, is impressive, right? So you've got, you know, you're... you're, you're competition across the lake. You've got Southeastern over in, uh, in Lakeland. I mean, just to hold your own in, in this area. This is some of the best NAIA baseball in the nation right here in Polk County. I think our, the Sun Conference is the strongest baseball conference in the country, and I, I don't really think there's a lot of discussion about that. It's a, no one's going to really dispute that. It's a very high level of baseball. Um, people enjoy it if they come see it. Uh, lastly, uh, a little bit, so wife, kids, everyone's been uh, brought up here. How about a little shout out? Well, uh, uh, my wife of 35 years, you know, Margie, uh, the biggest blessing God ever gave me in my life is her. Uh, we have three grown kids. Um, you know, Samuel, he has a uh, spraying business in Frostproof. My daughter, Hannah, she's married and uh, just had our first granddaughter in November. Thank you. And, uh, in Gainesville, and then my daughter Rebecca is finishing up her uh, master's degree in, in Southeastern here at the end of this next month. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, Southeastern, though. You forgot yeah. one thing, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> and the Hall of Fame. There you go. So, <laughs> you go. It's been a heck of, <laughs> That's it's, yours. So, it's been a heck of a year, grandkid <laughs> and the Hall of Fame. So, tell us about how you feel going in. I, it is a, a great honor. Uh, I've known you know, many people that have been inducted 
and they are just great ambassadors of sports and certainly for our county. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a proud native of Polk County, so to have your name attached to something that this county honors and, and in the sports field, it's, it really is a blessing and I'm honored to be a part of it. Thank you. That's all good stuff, man. Jeff, you've done a marvelous job, certainly have represented your faith, your church, your uh, school, you know, with the utmost uh, integrity and success. Um, and uh, my personal congratulations, and professional, I guess, uh, on being inducted and uh, looking forward to this uh, uh, coming induction ceremony, which is June 13th at the RP Funding Center. But uh, that shouldn't be overshadowed by the fact you've got a big job to do. How are you going to end up this year, do you think, in baseball? Well, we had a, our team last year was, as you alluded to earlier, was one of our best ever. It was a 40-win team and regional uh, performing team. This team's a lot younger. We had a lot of seniors on that team, so it is a bit of a kind of a retooling um, type of team. So we're, we're decent. Um, not as strong as last year, but we're laying a foundation to hopefully exceed last year when we get to well, going forward. That's great stuff. Once again, congratulations and thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this interview and want to watch more Sports Central, click the video below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.